Patients with blepharitis and meibomian gland dysfunction often have dry eyes. That is why we recommend after you've done the heating, massage and cleaning that you use lubricant drops. However, in some patients, putting in the lubricant drops is really very difficult for them if they're having to put them in every half hour. There are some special medicated drops that can be used to help patients with dry eyes and there are also punctal plugs. I would like to show you what punctal plugs are and how they work. So first of all, I've got a little diagram here of the tear duct system. The tears are formed in the lacrimal gland and around the eye. They go along the lower lid into these very small puncta at the medial end of the lower lid and the medial end of the top lid. Once the tears get in there, they go into the sac, down the nasolacrimal duct and into the back of your nose. Because you've got two little puncta, it's a very good idea to occlude one of them with a punctal plug so that your tears and your eye drops stay on the surface of the eye for longer. So you don't have to put the drops in nearly so often. I'm going to show you a punctal plug. I have no financial interest in any of the products that I show in this little film. The punctal plug is made of silicone and it comes in different sizes, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 millimetres, so it's less than a millimetre in size. It is minute. We may be able to see it with the camera later or not. It is so small. The procedure is actually done in our minor theatre here at Clinica London and I wear gloves, sterile, I wash my hands, sterile hands, gloves, equipment and then we can open the pack. But for the purpose of this demonstration we'll just show you here what it looks like. So this large blue thing is just the introducer. It has two ends. I put topical drops on the eye, I take that end off and then I just stretch the eyelid, pop that in the little punctum that you saw in the diagram. Once that's dilated, I then spin that round and right at the end there, you can barely see it, is a tiny, tiny plug. And then once that's in the hole, I just press on it, it releases and stays in the right place. This lid's a little bit too big for it, but essentially I've got the lid on stretch, like that, pops in there, and I leave it behind. There's now no plug on that, and it's in the lower punctum. How will you feel after a punctal plug? Well, you may feel a little irritant for a day, uh, but you'll notice quite rapidly that the tears are staying on the eye more. If you just have one plug, you're not going to be over watery because your top one is still draining. And the joy of these is if you don't like them, they can be easily removed and reversed. Do they have any complications? Well, they're very tiny, so tiny that uh, they can occasionally bury in. So we have to be very careful sizing them to choose the right size for you. And occasionally, if you rub your eye very hard, they may fall out. If that happens, though, we put another one in. There we are. You will feel a lot better after your punctal plugs for your dry eyes.